Have you ever wondered why Sigma females are said to be the most intelligent, yet they take forever to reach their goals or reach their full potential? If Sigma females are truly the smartest of women, the fiercest and the bravest of all women, why does success delay coming to them? 1. Research. Sigma females spend a lot of time on research instead of putting that time into the realization of their projects. Their huge appetite for knowledge tends to delay their destiny. Inasmuch as grounding themselves in research findings make them glow in public eye. When it comes to realizing personal projects, their perfectionist tendencies might intimidate them to delay the process by investing too much time and research to understand the nitty-gritty of the project before its launch. Sometimes because of this, people closer to Sigma females are tempted to steal their ideas for themselves. It's commonplace to find someone executing a Sigma female's idea while she is still going through tons of worthless research papers and videos from experts to figure out the right way of doing it. Jack Ma says 99.9% .9 of all plans usually fail, meaning that while plans are important, too much time should not be spent on making them. When Sigma females get caught up in research because of their perfectionist tendencies, the resulting outcome is often catastrophic for them. While researching is the backbone on which many Sigma females stand on, it can be a nuance holding the Sigma females' course of success. 2. Self-doubt. Another silent reason that delays Sigma females' success is self-doubt. When they expose themselves to too many research findings about their project, new information coming to light might suggest otherwise. The result might indicate that the Sigma has much to learn in order to succeed. If the Sigma female does not interpret these results with the right frame of mind, they might be tempted to personalize the findings to mean they are incapable of pulling it off, which might dampen their courage to pursue their dreams, thereby delaying their success. Sometimes knowing too much and being capable of predicting the future, as Sigma females do, can be a vice and a virtue at the same time. Inasmuch as Sigma females know that self-doubt is bad for success, they can't help themselves from digging deeper and absorbing new information to help them become better. 3. Procrastination. Following a few episodes of self-doubt, procrastination often ensues more or less as a coping mechanism and as a characteristic flaw of the Sigma female. Sigma females procrastinate with the intention to learn more and be better prepared to face the challenges that will arise with their projects. Achieving financial success is different from the day-to-day -day activity of Sigma females. They might play around with mundane tasks and still obtain great results, but mega-projects that are meant to push them or advance them in their career cannot be achieved by playing around and procrastinating. 4. Many ideas at once. Sigma females are well aware of the fact that they cannot save two masters at the same time, but they often choose to try it anyways. Some may justify this by attributing it to their huge brain power. Even at that, the brain is designed to focus on a single task at a time. The brain does not multitask but switches from one task to another. Since Sigma females are fun of pushing themselves beyond unimaginable limits, they are often tempted to work on many projects at once. Working on many projects will result in divided attention between projects and partial dedication to each project. Brain scientists have proven that the brain can only focus on one idea at a given time. For Sigma females to think that they can work on many ideas at once without delegating is only a waste of their time and further delays on achieving success. 5. Follow up. For Sigma females to attend a satisfactory level of success, they need to work with a team and stop working alone. Perhaps they should rethink the saying, if you want to go faster walk alone, but if you want to go far walk in a group. The Sigma's greatest problem is not working with a team, but that of follow-up. Since Sigma females are used to working alone, they find it difficult to follow up with employees because they are almost always busy. That is why many of them choose to remain as self-proprietors of their businesses. 